So before I went on holiday, I went to our award ceremony where myself, I say myself, the FX Learning team won Forex Trading School of the Year. And not only that, we won it for two years on the row. So the reason for this is I want to say a big thank you to all the support, all of the love, all of the votes and everything, the YouTube views that you have given me over the years. From the bottom of my heart, I want to say a big thank you to everyone. Just to prove to you, this is our 2021 award to 20, well, basically 2001 to 2022 award, as you can see here. And this one here is from 2022 to 2023. So for two years on the row, we have won Forex Trading School of the Year. So um, yeah, I want to say thank you to everybody. <coughs> Morning everyone. Um, I'm ridiculously ill, but that's the dedication I put in to you lot. Um, I got back from Mexico uh, two days ago, and I've caught Mexican flu. Basically, I was in a Sonoto, you'll see some pictures in a minute, and Sonoto is basically a cave where the roof has collapsed in, and I abseiled in, went for a swim in the water. Uh, obviously, bats in there, I think bats pooed in the water, and I swallowed some, and yeah, I'm ill. Um, so yeah, uh, let's give you an update on what is happening. Let me give you a sec. I haven't actually pressed play. Okay, so basically first day on the charts. Uh, I've already actually done some trading. I've took a sell on um, I've took a sell on GPUSD. Again, I do apologize if I'm a little bit slow. Um, I am ill. Okay. Uh, basically, let me just summarize. So I took this sell earlier this morning with the BD members, as you can see here. It was a nice little sell with the trend, beautiful. We had a nice little pullback here. Well, I say pullback, more of a liquidity sweep. Uh, and then we dropped again, beautiful. Just to show you that I took the trade, if we go to the Telegram group here, um, a lot of people absolutely loved Obviously, because I got back yesterday uh, or the day before, I had our weekly webinar. I'll just show you every single week, we will have a weekly webinar with the BD members completely free for life. So the people that joined us in 2017 have had a weekly webinar since then, every single week. And just to show you, we had it. Look, tonight's webinar has been uploaded into members area. Jamie is so dedicated to teaching and helping the community. Thank you for your efforts and time for this community. Your webinars are so helpful. Uh, sounds about right. Morning. Thank you, Jamie, for the video reminding us not to overcomplicate trading. Um, can, I, can I just say what an absolute legend, Jamie. It, it, his dedication to this group is second to none. He's been, he's been away on holiday. He's just got back and he's answering questions and doing a weekly webinar. Nothing less than inspirational. Um, thanks, Jamie. The webinar was awesome. It was my first one. The more we learn, the more we'll be confident. Um, yeah, and you see here, we talk, we were trading some basically price action, trading with the trend. I uh, just want to show you that trade, as you can see here. So this was the before, this was the after. That uh, was the after on that one. I uh, just want to show you here. T oh, I'll just show you, actually, I took the trade. Look here. Uh, I'm in on EU with the trend. Uh, I'm in on GPJPY. What does that look like? Uh, yeah, good trade. Uh, TP here on GPUSD. Also USD CAD 2 on the pullback. Nice drop on GP. Um, and then another BD member said yes. I also took it as well. Um, what I've actually done for this week is, I just want to show you as well, is I've decided to fund a £100 trading account. So basically, if I wasn't ill, my plan was was to uh, double a £100 trading account, first, day, first week back on the charts, get back into the swing of things, set myself a challenge, put some pressure on me. I thought I would try a double a £100 trading account and then do donate that to charity. Uh, obviously, today's Monday and I'm severely ill, so I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to last the entire week. Uh, but just to show you, 
um, just to show you. Here we go here, I've made a 100 pound transfer into my IC Market C Trader account. Uh, obviously, I've blanked out the trading account number, but there you go there, it's proof of a 100 pound deposit. Uh, if we just go to my C Trader account, you can now see it, a 100 pound deposit. It was made on the 19th of June, which is today. Um, so yeah, fresh 100 pound deposit. Again, my plan is to double this and then donate the money to charity just to kind of get into the swings of trading again. The reason for this video is I'm gonna basically trade London Open. London has opened for 31 minutes already. Uh, I'm just waiting for London Open to happen. As soon as that happens, I'll take a trade and I'll update you again shortly on uh, on this trading session. My mum said, if I have a banana, it will give me some energy. So that's what I'm doing. Anyway, GPUSD um, finally got our London Open signal. Let me take the trade quickly because obviously if I don't take the trade. Uh, okay, so... I've got about 20 seconds before I need to uh, take all the candle closes. Um, I'm going to be a little bit more aggressive here. I wonder if it's going to let me take a trade. I don't think it's going to let me let me take a one lot trade on um, on a um, on a 100 pound account. But let's go for five pips on this one. So there we go. There first, I wouldn't say first trade when I got back because it wasn't. Uh, but first trade on the £100 trading account. Like I said, this is all for charity. Okay, so whatever happens here, I've lost £100. Okay, because I'm going to donate it to charity. So, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, I'm dying. <clears throat> so whatever happens, okay, whatever money gets raised, it's going all to charity. Obviously, I've showed you my withdrawal. I'll show you my trades and I'll show, I'll show you, the, um, let me rephrase that. I've showed you my deposit, I've showed you my trades and I'll show you the withdrawal and I'll show you my contribution towards the charity. Um, so yeah, um, so there you go there. I've gone for five pips, obviously London Open, Mogwai Signal, for <coughs> literally dying here. First setup of the day. <coughs> Sorry, I'm literally dying, I'm sorry. The one setup that I wanted to show you is USD CAD. Because I'm not even joking here. I called this setup in the BD group like this morning at like 6 a.m. Look, look, at 6.40 a.m. I said to the BD members, uh, USD CAD with the trend. Unfortunately, I actually missed this trade. We missed it by about 20 minutes. But I just want to show you, right, on just how keeping trading simple. Look at this Mogwai signal at the top, right? MACD has gone overbought Mogwai signal, right? And look at it, right? Look what's actually happened. We had a nice push down. We had a nice buy against the trend. And we had a nice sell again. Now, why did this one win beautifully? Oh, someone's just already took the trade. Look, first, just taking Mogwai signal on GU. And we had a buy against the trend. Now, just to show you, right, how this was a beautiful trade with the trend and this was a beautiful buy against the trend. All these kind of pointless, don't take none of these. I want to show you, right, if we go to some naked price action now, okay, and I'm going to mark up those two levels where we got the Mogwai signal, okay, and this is just, I, I want to show you just how simple trading needs to be. Resistance area there, I'm going to mark up this support line just there, okay? If we go to the 15-minute charts now, what do we have at this level here? Okay, uh, let's look at the one hour. One hour is going to be easy. Oh, look. Look at that there. So, as you can see here, if we go to the one hour charts, price came down, created a low, price pulled back there, price then created a lower low there, pulled back to this previous area of resistance. This was that Mogwai signal with the trend, okay? And that's the reason why it's dropped so much. Unfortunately, we missed it by about 20 minutes. Then price pulled back. So see here, right? It's that little pullback zone just there, okay? Look where it pulled back to. So price came all the way down, price pulled back. So obviously the sell here was with the trend, right? And the buy here, if we look left here, 
was against the trend. So you see what's happened here, right? If we go back to the Mogwai strategy now, we can see why the sell here was perfect with the trend and the buy here, if we get again, if I just go back to the one minute time frame, you can see why that sell at the top was with the trend, this buy here was against the trend, but by just using simple support and resistance, boom, beautiful. Okay, right, so GPUSD, come on, that's gotta be five pips. Has, have I got five pips out of this trade? Yes, there you go there, beautiful. I've made a whopping three pound and 31 pence. Uh, TP hit, hit on GU, um, five pips in and out. Thank you very much. Uh, just to show everyone else took it, just taking Mog on GU, very quick today, can't be too greedy, GP hit within two minutes, GP hit on GP, five pips in and out. There you go there, no messing about. Uh, first London Open for since I got back, uh, it was a winner. I'm gonna go back to bed. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Sorry it was short and sweet, but yeah, thank you for watching.